Hey what's up guys, this video is gonna be about the upstream oxygen sensor from this Volkswagen Hybrid GTE. We're gonna see how to read the live data on a scan tool, we're gonna check the voltage values at the connector and we're gonna see how to remove it. And we've got easy access to the connectors here. So let's say you've got a trouble code that it says there is no power to the sensor or you suspect that there is no power to the sensor. You can go in the fuse box and inspect fuse number 8. To test it you can either remove it or use a test light or a voltmeter and see if you got power on both sides and we do. Now I've got here some screenshots of the live data. We are interested in the equivalence ratio and the calculated load value. This is also kind of related to the engine speed but this is going to tell us if the engine requires more fuel. And as you can see here the engine was off until this point and then it spikes up requiring more fuel. And we've got the equivalence ratio which was before 1.99 which is the leanest possible as you can see here since the engine stopped at this point here. And then it went down obviously because it begins to detect fuel inside the exhaust gases. We've got here a value below 1 and if you find below 1 it means that the engine is running rich. And we've got here the oxygen sensor current which obviously is going to go in parallel with the equivalence ratio and usually we can see a delay of a couple of milliseconds after the load is occurring on the engine and that makes sense because it takes a little while for the exhaust gases to be processed by the oxygen sensor. So these are the correct values you want to see on the oxygen sensor. Now let's see the interpretation basically of the oxygen sensor readings which are going to be the short term and long term fuel trim. Now the fuel trims are calculated from 0% which means that there is a perfect mixture of air and fuel, 14.7 parts of fuel and one part of air and you can actually see that the short air fuel trim reacted faster compared to the long term fuel trim. So this is basically what you want to see on the live data and the best is to do as I did, to take screenshots or record. Now let's take out the connector from here. Let's unplug it. And we've got a six wire connector. This is a newer model of the oxygen sensor. Now let's see first what voltage values you need to read at the connector here. So let's turn the ignition on. Let's turn the voltmeter to 20 volts. Between pin 1 and 2 we've got 3.93. 1 and 3, 5.30. 1 and 4, 0. 1 and 5, 0. 1 and 6, 0. Between 2 and 3 we've got 9.60, 2 and 4, 3.94, 2 and 5, 3.94, 2 and 6, 3.94. Between 3 and 4, 5.31, 3 and 5, 5.31, 3 and 6, 5.31, 4 and 5, 0, 4 and 6, 0, 5 and 6, we've got 0 volts. So these are the voltage values you want to read. Keep in mind that the 12 volts battery is not on charge right now. And now we can do a bench test of the oxygen sensor. We've got the pins numbered here, 1, 3, 5, and on the other side, 2, 4, 6. Between 1 and 2, we've got 264. 3 and 5, we've got full continuity. Between 4 and 5, nothing. 4 and 6, we've got full continuity again. So these are the values you want to read on the oxygen sensor. So from this point, if you find different values than I found, you can go ahead and remove the sensor. That's going to be quite an easy task to do. You're going to need this size of oxygen sensor socket. Place it on. And from this point you can inspect the sensor and you shouldn't find excessive carbon build up on it. If you find for example oil then you've got an engine problem and probably the exhaust valves are leaking and therefore they will blow that oil on the sensor breaking it down. So it's important to inspect as well the old sensor before reinstalling the new one. As it is on all the diagnoses you need to find first the problem why that part broke and then replace it. Just tighten it by hand, usually it goes by hand. Usually like 10% of the turn is going to be enough. Alright, so these were the things you can check on this wideband oxygen sensor. Take care and I will see you in the next video.